Hello there. Today we are going to work with this Wi-Fi camera that works with the V380 or V380 Pro app, this is a light bulb camera so you can plug it in a light bulb socket. What we are going to see in this video is why I can't pair it with the app in my cell phone. The very first thing that we need to do is to reset the camera because we need to set it in pairing mode. To do so we need to look for the reset button and press it until the camera speaks or makes a beep sound. Meanwhile the camera starts let me explain some things. If you have any questions about this video or any other related with this camera please let me know in the comment section. Please try to make your question as clear as possible because sometimes I don't understand what you are trying to say, and if I don't understand your question I won't be able to help you, also feel free to like and subscribe if this video was helpful. The camera is starting, it's going to test its motor moving up and down, and side to side. When the camera is ready we can proceed with the configuration. Open the app in your cell phone, if you see any ads just skip them as soon as possible. If you have any other cameras you'll have to tap on the plus button. Then add device. The app will open the cell phone camera so you can scan the QR code in your camera. But I don't recommend you to do so. Instead you are going to tap on this big blue button that says I can't find the QR code. Then tap on Wi-Fi smart camera. Then tap on hotspot link. Here we are going to choose the Wi-Fi network that we are going to use. It's very important to say that we need to use a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Let me explain you what I mean. As you can see right now I am connected to a 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. The most recent Wi-Fi modems have two Wi-Fi networks, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Usually the ones that are 2.4 GHz have that number at the end of the Wi-Fi's name. And the 5 GHz also have a 5 at the end of the Wi-Fi's name. In Android cell phones is even easier because there is a small square that tags the 5 GHz networks. Also there is one posable case that you will see a mixed Wi-Fi network, that means one Wi-Fi network that includes both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. If that is your case you will have to call your internet provider so they can help you to divide the Wi-Fi networks. Also you can look for a tutorial on YouTube or in the web as how to divide my 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks in my Wi-Fi modem. And you can look for the model of your Wi-Fi modem in the back of it. If you are finding this video to be helpful please feel free to like, subscribe and share the video, smiley face. Once you have already divided the Wi-Fi networks and you have connected your cell phone to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, you can go back to the app then tap on your Wi-Fi network's name. The next step is the most important, to write the Wi-Fi password correctly. This is the most important because this is the step where most mistakes are made. So you need to be very careful especially with the number 1. The letter L and the letter I. As you can see in this examples. A mistake is most likely to be committed when you write down the password by hand. As you can see on the yellow paper. But also this can happen when the letters are digital or were printed. Also you have to be careful with letter O and the number 0. There are other posable mistakes but these are the most common that I have noticed. Other posable error is to leave a space at the end of the password. This happens when you copy and paste the password or you tap on the suggestions of your keyboard. If you are finding this video to be helpful please feel free to like, subscribe and share the video. Smiley face. If you have double checked your Wi-Fi network and your Wi-Fi password we can tap on OK. If it takes too long you can go back and try again. And then we wait. The next step is to connect our cell phone to the Wi-Fi network which name starts with MV or HSC. 
That Wi-Fi network is generated by the camera. Tap on the blue button as well in the I know button. We are going to wait for the cell phone to detect the MV Wi-Fi network. As it appears we are going to tap on it and wait for a few seconds. Because the cell phone is going to alert us that the MV Wi-Fi has no access to internet. Once we see the alert is important to read it and tap on the option for the cell phone to stay connected to the MV Wi-Fi network. Sometimes the alert says. Do you want to stay connected to Wi-Fi network? And some other times it says. Do you want to disconnect your cell phone? So be very careful. After that. We can go back to the V380 app. And then we wait a few moments. If you didn't see what option you choose and your cell phone can't connect to the MV Wi-Fi anymore. Even if you tap on the MV Wi-Fi and you can't keep it connected. You will need to try to do it later. What I do is to leave it for the next day because I do some other stuff. By the next day the cell phone will forget that the MV Wi-Fi network has no access to internet and you will be able to continue pairing the Wi-Fi camera. If you have a problem you will probably face it in this step. If after a couple minutes the camera does not pair, you'll have to check again the Wi-Fi password, the Wi-Fi to be a 2.4 GHz network, as well as to move the camera closer to the Wi-Fi modem. If you are finding this video to be helpful please feel free to like, subscribe and share the video, smiley face. Right now we are at the last steps, we are going to give a name to the camera, in this example, Frente, but you can name it anything you like. Then, tap on finish. There is one more step which is to open the camera and asking a password for it. The password can be the same one as the password account you're using but I strongly recommend you asking a different one. Anything you choose you will have to write it down because this password we are going to use it to share the camera with somebody else. I use this password but please do not use it because I use this password in all my videos so is nothing safe at all. When you finish we can click on OK and we are ready to go, the camera should be now online. If you had a problem or you have a question, as I said before, let me know in the comment section. I will try to help you but please try to be as clear as possible. So this is it, I hope you can like and subscribe. So yeet, see you later, smiley face.